The Polar Go USB-C audio interface from Blackstar is really cool, but getting this interface to work with your laptop can be a little bit confusing. It's not really straightforward, there's extra stuff you have to download, and there's some settings you have to get to, especially if you want to plug your electric guitars into this and use amp sims. This is going to be a quick video. We're going to plug the Polar Go into my laptop. I'll show you what you need to download to get this working and the settings you need to adjust in order to use this with amp sims. So let's plug this in and get to it. I have the Polar Go plugged in now. It's right in front of me. Everything you will hear for the rest of the video will be coming straight from the Polar Go. So right now we are listening to the microphones that are on the Polar Go. Real quick, we're going to head over to Blackstar's website. We're going to need to download two things before we go any farther. And I'm pretty sure you will need to create an account in order to get these downloads. So this is my Blackstar portal. I'm going to go to all downloads. The first thing I'm going to download is the Blackstar USB audio driver for Windows. Now I was able to get this to work without downloading this, but it wasn't working quite how I wanted it to. So I downloaded this and it it seemed to work after that. So I don't know if this step is completely necessary because they do have other USB interfaces, but everything seemed to work better after I downloaded that. So maybe you'll be able to skip this step, but we'll definitely need to download something else. We scroll down, we are gonna go to the Polar Go PC app and download that. I use a PC, so everything I'm downloading is for the PC. If you use a Mac, get the Mac stuff. So what this app is gonna do is going to give you all the controls that you would have on your phone app. So here's what I'm looking at right now. We need this in order to get it working with our recording software. I'm gonna show you how I do it in Reaper. If you have a different doll. I'm sure it's very similar. Just look up how to do it in your doll. For my device settings, I'm using the WAS API. And for my input and output, I have the Polar Go selected. The next steps are in the Polar Go. So this is my main page. You see I have my mic channel on. What we want is to be able to bypass that and just use the software settings. So I want all my inputs, the mic and the combo jack input to go into Reaper and out of Reaper. I want to be able to turn off the direct monitoring on the unit and control that just in Reaper. So essentially turning the Polar Go into just a pass through. So the way I do that, I'm going to go to settings. We're going to go to multi-track mode and we're going to turn direct monitoring off. Now you're hearing everything through Reaper right now. If I turn direct monitoring on right now, you would hear double because you'd be hearing through Reaper and through the unit, which you could always turn direct monitoring off in Reaper and just do that. But the point of this video is to show you how to get this working with amp sims. So multi-track mode, direct monitoring off. We don't want to hear anything coming through the Polar Go unless we choose to in Reaper. Let me grab a guitar real quick. So on my home page, what I want to do is just turn these off, which we're actually bypassing them anyway, so it doesn't matter. Just listening through Reaper. So I'm going to go ahead and arm my guitar track. Right now it's on input two. Inputs one and two are going to be your stereo microphones on the front of the unit which are great, but we want the combo jack input. So I'm going to change it to input three. So now you can see on my mic channel, audio levels are moving, nothing on the guitar channel. But when I hit the guitar, then we're seeing something. So now what I can do is throw on an amp sim. Let's pull up the Blackstar St. James plugin. Keep it on brand. So that's the plugin. Now I'm going to turn the mic off and we should hear just the guitar through the amp sim. <laughs> So there you go. It takes a few different steps to get there since there are no real buttons on this unit. You do have to download the Polar Go PC app and then get into those settings that way. So again, those settings, multi-track mode on, direct monitoring off. We don't want the direct monitoring from the unit itself. We want to monitor everything through our software. So that's how you get the Polar Go working with Guitar Amp Sims on your computer. If you need tech support, I would recommend reaching out to Blackstar directly. My comment section is usually not the best place to get tech support. But if you have any other questions for me about the Polar Go or anything in general, go ahead and leave a comment. And that's all I got for you in this video. Just a quick and dirty tutorial. It's something I haven't seen anybody do yet. And I was having problems getting it working. So it took me a minute to figure it out. Hopefully I saved you a little bit of time by showing you how I I did it. Now, as far as getting that exact same function on your phone, totally different thing. I don't know why. I've tried a whole bunch of different apps, Band Lab, like three different guitar amp apps. There really doesn't seem to be a good way to do this on your phone. Every instance when I get to this direct monitoring part is fine, but then when I get into the app, it is all or nothing. No matter what I do with the faders here or the settings here. It seems to come down to the app because I can do everything fine on the computer, but none of these apps seem to have a way to turn off channel one and two and keep channel three and four active. It really seems like it's all or nothing between the apps in this unit. So if the app has a way to turn off channels one and two on the unit, that would turn off the microphones and you would probably be good, but I have yet to find an app that does that. So if I do, that'll be a different video. And if you know of that app, go ahead and drop it in the comment. 
and I'll check it out. Anyways, I've rambled enough. I hope this video was helpful if you were struggling on getting this to work with the computer like I was. Again, technical support, go to Black Star. But if you have any other questions, go ahead and drop a comment and I'll try to get back to you. And that's all I got. So thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in another one.